It's May, spring sledding and the final shoot of the season. Hard to believe it's already this time of year. It seems like just yesterday we were breaking out the sleds for the first ride in November. This season's flowing by with a non-stop schedule following all of our athletes across the continent and the world. Volume 9 is well on its way to being the best installment in the 509 series of films. With this being the final shoot of the year, we wanted to kick it off right, so we hosted it in Sycamus, an awesome Four Seasons resort town in central BC. And with the weather we were dealt, it felt like we experienced all four seasons. Riders started rolling in late in the week, and since our film crew was already there and bad weather was forecasted for the weekend, we headed for the hills and started to film. 509 presents Behind the Lens. A behind the scenes look at what it takes for the riders and film crews to throw together the upcoming film, Volume 9. Stay tuned throughout the season to catch all the laughs, spills, jumps, and drops from around the sledding world in Behind the Lens. Hit her harder this time. Yeah, I'll try it again. I think yeah, once I get another 20 feet, I'm good to go. Riding late in the season means you're using pickups to punch through snow patches so you don't have to ride miles of gravel on your sled before hitting the snowpack. Luckily, we had plenty of tow ropes and lifted pickups to break trail. Day one was a huge success and an awesome way to kick off the spring shoot. As you can see, everyone capped it off with water sports back at the hotel, keeping our minds off what was forecasted for the next day. We woke up and forecasts were accurate, and we definitely weren't putting the heli in the air. So we improvised. Yeah, I'm putting them in the wall. It's gonna be a couple crashes for sure. Are we allowed to hit? the carts weren't the quickest, Chris and the other athletes still managed to keep the course interesting for us. Day two turned out to be another success, even though we didn't pull out the sleds once. Once again, we were dealt with anything but stellar weather, but the forecast was for breaking skies in the afternoon. So we remained optimistic, and with the help of twin anchors, waterways, and reds from Sycamus, we had our early day filled with water sports to keep our mind off the skies above.
After spending half the day on the water, the clouds started to break and we decided to head up the mountain to see what we could film. Although the weather wasn't the greatest up there, we still managed to find some decent stuff worth capturing. Red pulled me a sled and jumped her once and she's different. And how far did you come out for that? Well, it's a 30 hour drive. Suhan's uh, hitting it over and over and he's doing telestanders out the top. That evening, we came down off the mountain and the forecast called for even better weather. So we all grabbed a wrench and turned the parking lot of the Sycamus Best Western into our own sled shop, getting all our sleds ready for what was going to be an awesome day four. To say we were all excited to finally get the bird in the air would be an understatement. We rose early to head up the mountain and get building before the heli showed up. perfect way to send off an absolutely awesome riding season of capturing all our athletes around the world for Volume 9. Big thanks to all the Sycamus businesses who partnered on making this the best weekend of our winter. And true to form, Reinhardt even drove through the night from the Mac for one last ride of the season in Sycamus. Last time I seen one of those up here was lifting me out of chipper tooth there. Went down on a cylinder. Couldn't get... Darcy, what? What's going on today? I'm oh, just sending it big for the heli. No big deal, really. Let's see what you got. You full, better hit her wide open. Full pin, you figure? Full pin in the tail standard. Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just put new pistons and rings in. I just I oh, don't want to get on it too hard. Oh, you know? we, heard, we heard her purring like a kitten over there. Had her screaming 9,000 all the way through that no. pow field there. <laughs> About <laughs> went over to bars on that wind lamp. <laughs>